Welcome to MSA YouTube channel. I'm Teacher Emmy and I'll be teaching real numbers. But before anything else, kindly hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest videos. arithmetic. Any number that you can think of and can be plotted in the number line are called real numbers. Examples, we have 2, negative 1, negative 5.5, square root of 34, pi, 2 cubed, 3 over 7, and a lot more. So let's try to plot them on the number line. And here's the result. So as you can see, they are in different form. We have decimal, fractions, radicals. So how do we categorize those numbers? Try to look at our chart wherein real numbers are on top and is divided into two categories, the rational and irrational numbers. So what are rational numbers? It's the set of numbers that can be expressed as a quotient A over B where A and B are integers and B is not equal to zero. That means any number that can be written in fraction form are all rational numbers. So here are the examples. 1 half, 3 fifth, 9 over 2, negative 7 over 11. We also have 4 and 1 third which is equivalent to 13 over 3. And whole numbers like 2 can be written as 2 over 1. Another, we have decimals like 0 0.25, which is equivalent to 25 over 100. And another, we have the repeating decimal that continues endlessly like 0 0.72, 72, and so on, which is equivalent to 8 over 11, and 0 0.333, and so on, which is equivalent to 1 third. So take note, if you have repeating decimal that continues endlessly, they are considered as rational numbers. So what if we have non-repeating decimal that continues endlessly? Are they still rational numbers? The answer is no. They are under the category of irrational numbers. Is the set of numbers that cannot be expressed as a quotient of two integers. Examples, we have pi. Some of you know that pi is just 3.14. But no, pi has trillions of decimal places. Okay, another, we have square root of 5 and 0 0.1256372 and so on. That means when we have non-repeating decimal that continues endlessly, they are considered as irrational numbers. Alright? So going back to our diagram, rational number is divided into two categories, the integers and the non-integer fraction. So what is integer? The set of integer is from negative infinity, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to positive infinity. So integers to the left of 0 are called negative integers, and integers to the right of 0 are called positive integers. So take a look at our example. If you are familiar, with the number line 0 on the middle, and to the left of 0, you will find the negative numbers, and to the right of 0, you will find the positive numbers. But what if I have negative 1 half and positive 1 half? Are they still integers? The answer is no. If you have fraction, negative or positive, decimal mixed number they are considered as non-integer fraction 
Okay, so non-integer fraction is a set of numbers that is decimal, fraction, or mixed unit. Example, we have two-thirds, four and one-fifth, zero, point one four five, and three point four seven five. Alright, remember if you have fraction, decimals, or mixed unit, whether it is positive or negative, they are under the category of non-integer fraction. Alright, going back here, integer has two categories, the negative integers and the whole numbers. So negative integers from negative infinity, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, up to negative 1. Alright, so from 0 to positive integers, that is what you call whole numbers. Alright, are numbers without fraction and it is a collection of positive integers and zero. So that is what we call whole numbers. Going back again, whole numbers has two categories, the zero and the natural number. So that means from whole number, if you take away zero and then the rest will be the natural numbers. Okay. So, natural numbers here are set of all the whole numbers excluding zero. Okay? They are actually called counting numbers because when you count, you start from one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Alright? So, that's all about real numbers. Let's try to have some exercises. All right, all you have to do is put a check if the given number is natural number, whole number, integer, rational, or irrational. If not, then put X. All right, let's have the first one, 7. Is it natural number? Yes. Is it whole number? Yes. Is it an integer? Yes. Is it a rational number? Yes. Is it an irrational? No. <coughs> Alright. How about square root of 12? Is it natural number? No. <coughs> Is it whole number? No. <coughs> Integer? No. <coughs> rational? No. <coughs> it is an irrational number. Alright, how about 1.246527 dot dot dot? Oh, that means this is an example of non-repeating decimal that continues endlessly. So, is that considered as natural number? No. Whole number? No. Integer? No. Rational number? No. This is an example of irrational number because we cannot rewrite that as fraction form. Alright? How about 4 over 9? Is it natural number? No. Whole number? No. Integer? No. Rational number? Yes. Is it an irrational number? No. Alright? And the last one, we have negative 10. Is it natural number? No. Is it whole number? No. Is it an integer? Yes. Is it rational number? Yes. Is it an irrational? No. Alright. Next, we have complete the following statement by using always, sometimes, or never. Okay, the first one. All integers are blank rational numbers. So let me tell you a technique. Alright, take a look at our chart. If the pattern goes up, the answer is always. But if the pattern goes down, the answer is sometimes. Okay, for example, all integer, integer is here and rational numbers is here on top. Alright, so the pattern goes up, therefore the answer is always. Alright, next. Whole numbers are blank natural numbers. Going back to our chart, 
from whole numbers to natural numbers. So that's going down. So the answer is sometimes. Alright. Third one. We have rational numbers are blank and integer. Take a look at our chart. Rational number is here, integer is here, so the pattern goes down. Alright, from rational to integer, that means sometimes. Alright, and the last one, we have all natural numbers or blank irrational numbers. So if you take a look at our chart, here is irrational and the natural number is, where is the natural number? Here. So that means natural numbers can never be an irrational number. So the answer must be no. Alright? So that's all about real numbers. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest videos. Alright? Bye!